Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. We're walking into 618 Sheridan, number three. As we walk in, we see a mirror in the entry. And if we turn to our right, we see the living room, which is a very pretty room. It's a big room. Hardwood floors, a big radiator. The floors are facing, the floors, the windows are facing north. Uh, but you get a lot of light in here. It's a super great day, and you can see, still see it's very light. Now this is sort of a closet without a door, so it can be used for almost anything. Many people put like home offices in here. You have a couple of shelves, some hooks, but you also have a coaxial connection right there, so you could get your Wi-Fi going. It's not a totally rectangular room, which is a little bit unusual. Beautiful decorative fireplace, which I will show you more closely. The detail in the room is terrific. Uh, nice lighting, ceiling fan fixture. But the crown moldings in these apartments are great. So I'm not even sure you can see that, but it is really nice. And the detail in the fireplace is also different than most. If we walk to the windows, we look out into the courtyard, again facing north. We're on the third floor, so we get a lot of uh, light. This room is probably about 14 feet or more across. And the skinny end is probably only about 8 or 10 feet wide. And the deeper end is probably more like 13 feet wide. You can see as we look past the living room, we look into the kitchen dining area. Again, hardwood floors. And there we get our first glimpse of the bath, but we have a big dining area here with a small big radiator in the corner with a smaller kitchen. So we have a nice big newer stove, Original cabinets above and below a stainless steel sink and an apartment size uh, stove oven. The back door will lead down to the uh, laundry and storage. And the windows face south into your neighbor's backyard. And a little bit of the alley. So let's start by looking at the stove. It's not new, but it's super clean and it's big enough for just about any size pizza which for one or two people what more could you want i always forget that we have these shelves next to the stove uh, it's a laminate countertop next to the stove stainless steel sink which we'll look more closely at we have the uh, outlet between the sink and the stove these are older metal cabinets but they're super clean and you can see they're quite usable. We have some over here and over the fridge Oops, as well. Okay, let's look at the sink. We'll go with some hot water pressure. Oops, the daisy. Wow. I got to pull the plug on the sink and then it looked like it was backing up, which it is not. Underneath is nice and dry. Oh, today, today we go nice and dry. Good water pressure in this building. It's already new, and I can feel the humidity from the hot water. So that is that. And again, show you the storage underneath. The fridge. This looks like it is brand new. Now, I don't know that it is. We'll check in a second. But this is about five foot six, five foot eight. Nice freezer, shelves to the left. And yeah, this does not look like it's ever been used. What I was looking for is the papers that come in the crisper drawer. It does not look like it's ever been used, but I don't see the papers either. So maybe it's not brand new, but it's real close. And then I'm just going to go towards the back door because we have just this little storage area right here which has shelves by the back door. It could be used as a broom closet or a cleaning supply kind of closet. And I will 
just sort of pan around. There's the closet without a door in the living room. See the light from the bathroom and the bedroom. And really, this is a big space here that can be used for a table, an island, just about anything. The hardwood floors are in great shape. Big radiators, so you're gonna get plenty of heat. Plus, you're on the third floor. And there is the stove and what looks like a new fridge. Cabinet space above. And if I go past the back door, we are back into the living room which is a very pretty, very light room. And there is a ceiling fan to catch all the light breeze. Okay, so before we get to the uh, bedroom, we're gonna look at the bath. Standard vintage tiles. Because it has a frosted glass window, it didn't get as much light. So now I turned on a light. I'm not sure it was really necessary, but better safe than sorry. There is a pedestal sink and a tank toilet, which I prefer to the industrial valve toilet. And nothing special in the commode. A couple of towel bars, light switch. There is a medicine cabinet and a light fixture above. The shower head here is about six foot one or six foot two, so it's not as high as the others, but you can see the tiles are in great shape. The tub and the window is in great shape. Again, very often vintage windows take a beating because the shower just pours on them, and that's where the mildew starts to build up. But we have double pressure poles so you can hang curtains on both sides. So let's check the water pressure here with just the hot water. like the whole apartment it's just nice and clean it's a vintage there's the kitchen out of focus in focus it's a vintage bath like the apartment is a vintage apartment but it's super clean and super usable okay let's go into the bedroom the bedroom is about an average size bedroom. What is nice is that it has two windows, one east, one north. Uh, good, good view out of both. Huge radiator again, beautiful hardwood floors again. This room is probably 11 by nine and a half, something like that. It does have a ceiling fan, so easy sleeping here. We'll go this way first. We look into the backyard of our neighbor on uh, Judson, basically. And here we look again into our back in our neighbor just north of us. What am I talking about, Judson? That, that's got to be Michigan. I'm totally turned around. This is actually facing west towards Michigan. And this is facing north. Oh, I'd never have made it as a pioneer. I would have been lost, eaten by the Indians, it would have been all over. Anyway, there is the uh, ceiling fan, and let's look at the bedroom closet, which is very deep. It's about two feet wide, probably six or more feet deep. You see the hanging bar? Uh, very good space, very usable closet. Lots of outlets in the bedroom. Good light, so we'll walk back past the, whoops, the daisy, past the bath, 
Past the kitchen. Boy, this thing is sensitive. Past the kitchen. Get another look at the living room and the decorative fireplace, which I really like a lot. And that will bring us back to the front door. Thanks for watching.